If you're looking for some fresh new salads to add to your recipe collection, then you are in the right place. Yeah, we've got three delicious and easy summer salads for you. They're all very vibrant, colourful, and most importantly, full of flavour. So let's just get straight on with recipe one. We first created this dish and posted it to our blog a couple of years ago, like back in summer 2021. And we return to it whenever we want something fresh and crunchy and packed with flavour. It's one of those dishes that just shouts summer. It's got so much citrusy goodness, it really packs a punch. Actually, a lot of the influence for this salad has come from when we went to Mexico. We met so many beautiful people, Airbnb hosts, cooking course teachers, super welcoming locals at bars on New Year's Eve who bought us drinks and partied with us all night. All of these people were really proud of who they were and wanted to share that with us. This salad takes also inspiration from all the tacos that we had whilst in Mexico City. The orange juice in the dressing really reminds me of Tacos Al Pastor. That beautiful citrusy sweet taste that's also a little bit bassy and earthy. The sweetness of the orange juice of the dressing works so well with the savoury vegetable flavours from the carrot and the red cabbage. Although we can't say that this salad is authentic Mexican cuisine, we do think that it embodies a lot of the bold and vibrant Mexican influences that we encountered during our stay. And of course, there's all of that lime and coriander too. This is a super simple salad that's thrown together in moments. It requires zero cooking and can be easily made up in a big batch and kept in the fridge for around a week. So this salad we did actually make a short of the other day and it is on our website but we loved it so much we thought we have to make it into a proper long format video for you guys. We've eaten it so much already this summer, it is absolutely delicious and it's very easy as well, there's not that many ingredients in it. The first thing that you want to do is roast your aubergine, you could use courgette, it's quite similar, and we've gone for a nice spiced roasted aubergine. We've used baharat, but you could use a bit of cumin, a bit of cinnamon, any kind of Middle Eastern inspired spices would work really well on this. So you pop that in the oven, and then the next thing you want to do is caramelise some red onion. Again, you could use white onion or shallots here, but it just adds a really nice sweetness to the dish and we're going to be mixing that into some delicious pearl barley. So you could swap out the pearl barley for another kind of grain, like a quinoa would work really nicely in this, or some couscous as well. Then we're adding in some lovely fresh things just to liven it up a bit. We've got some lovely fresh parsley, we're doing fresh tomatoes, and then we've also added in lots of nice lemon juice and some greens as well. Our green for this salad, we have gone with a watercress, but you could use something like lamb's lettuce or a rocket, would give a nice little peppery flavour. Then, just to finish it off, you've got to make sure you're having a delicious dressing with any salad, and we are doing a creamy tahini yogurt dressing. This is something that we put on a lot of salads, super easy, you just want your dairy-free yogurt mixed with tahini, and then we like to add in a little bit of agave syrup, but you could do maple syrup or a bit of sugar, season it with salt and pepper, and then you can add in some lemon juice or a bit of cider vinegar or something like that just to sharpen it up a bit. You essentially just need to toss everything together and then drizzle with the dressing right at the end. We love this salad, it's so easy to make, it's something that you can meal prep for the beginning of the week, have it as a lunch or have it as a side with some other main courses. One of the things that I'm often thinking about when it comes to creating a recipe is obviously the taste, but also it has to look really good too. Take this example, you're eating out with your friends or your partner or whoever and your meal comes to the table. Your plate is put down in front of you and you think it looks really nice. And then you're thinking to yourself, I can't wait to tuck in. And then the other person's meal gets placed down in front of you and it looks so much better. And all of a sudden, you've got food envy. The looks of the meal are so important, even when cooking for one, because you should treat yourself too, right? When coming up with the recipe for this griddled gem lettuce, we knew it would look incredible if we could get the right griddle marks on the lettuce. But we also knew that we could complement this, that's why we chose to pair it with some gorgeous ruby red pomegranate seeds. Not only is their sweet taste and crunchy texture perfect for pairing with the slightly bitter, slightly charred lettuce, but they look like little jewels on the plate that contrast so perfectly with that green. The key to this recipe is cooking the lettuce for long enough to soften it up, but not so long that it starts to become a bit soggy. 
Using a really hot pan is a great way to do this. We've put this lettuce on our griddle pan to get those gorgeous dark scorch lines across it, but you could also cook this right on a hot barbecue. To tie everything together, we've also made a super simple but proper tasty cumin yogurt dressing to drizzle on top. We've also gone with some contrasting flavours to keep it interesting too. There's plenty of lemon in this dish to give everything a real zing, and then we've also dressed it with some agave syrup for sweetness. We like how light this syrup is, so it doesn't overpower the dish. You could go for more of a maple or golden here, but I'd recommend using less as they do have a stronger flavour. If you can get your hands on little gem lettuce or baby gem, that would be ideal. But something like romaine lettuce would also work here too. We hope you guys love the sounds of these recipes and that you are going to be making some of them this summer. Mm -hmm. Let us know down in the comments which one you want to try first. We're going to have them on repeat, I just know it. <laughs> yes. If you are still looking for some more summery recipe inspiration, we've got a great video that we put out last week on barbecue recipes that's got a delicious salad in it. So go and check that out. And we will see you in our next video. Bye.